In this video, we'll talk about how we can use CoinMarketCap and CoinGecko. They're essentially like financial screeners for the crypto industry. Now, both are very similar in nature. So I'll use CoinMarketCap as one of the examples. Once you're on CoinMarketCap, you can see the total market cap. That is essentially the total amount of money invested in all the cryptocurrencies. You could also see the 24 hours volume. On the right hand side, you could also see fear and greed index. Currently, it is neutral. You can also see categories. If you scroll down, you will be able to see memes, Solana L1 ecosystem and so on. Now let's come back to the main page and let's take an example of Ethereum. On the Ethereum page, you can see the financial chart with the complete history. You can go back and see in the last one year how Ethereum has performed. And similarly, you can go down as one year as well. If you scroll down a little bit, you can see market cap. That is essentially the total money invested in Ethereum. The last 24 hours volume, all time high, which is 48.91 and all time low being $0.42. Crazy, right? You can click on the I button and read about it. Circulating supply means the amount of coins that are circulating in the market and are in public hands. Apart from that, you could also see total supply. The amount of coins that have been already created minus any coins that have been burnt. So all these metrics can be easily found on CoinMarketCap. If you click on the about section, you can go ahead and read what Ethereum is about. You could see all their official links, be it their website, white paper. You can see their official social media handles. You could also check who the team comprises of. You could click on investors and see who are the investors that have been backing Ethereum since inception. There's also a news tab and a lot of more features on CoinMarketCap. I will let you explore them on your own. Crypto products and NFTs are unregulated and can be highly risky. There may be no regulatory recourse for any loss from such transactions. 